All right, let's check out the area of this parallelogram using the formula for the area of parallelograms, which is area is equal to the base times the height. Uh, so the bases of a parallelogram are the two sides that are parallel to each other. So that's a base, and that's a base. So just find the length of one of them. They'll, they'll have the same length here. Um, so this is uh, one, two, three, four, five units. Uh, so this is also one, two, three, four, five. So um, my area is equal to uh, five times the height. Now, what's the height of a parallelogram? Well, it's it's the distance between the two bases. So um, on this, because we're on a grid here, it's easy just to um, see what the the height is. Um, so. Oh, the height is one, two, three, four, five y units. Um, I should have made that something else so you don't get confused between the two fives. Anyway, the height or the distance between the two bases is five. So the area of this parallelogram is 25 um, units squared. Okay, and um, a way that I use to remember um, the area formula for a parallelogram is to think of a parallelogram as just a rectangle that's kind of flopped over in the wind. The area of a rectangle is just um, the the base times the height that, or you can think of it as the length times the width, uh, or we can call it base times height. And then just because it's flopped over to the side like that doesn't mean its area has changed. The space inside of the shape is still the same. It's just harder slightly to calculate than a rectangle that's just uh, nice with these 90 degree angles. So it's flopped over. Um, so the area is still the base times the height, but the height we have to um, do a little calculation to figure out or, um, or you know, visualize it like this. The height is the distance between the bases. So this is not the height. Okay, height, no. Um, the height is the distance between the bases. And um, you can imagine that actually if I were to cut off this triangle here and put it here, it would form a rectangle. Okay, So the height would be, um, of the rectangle would be this, one, two, three, four, five, the distance between the two bases. Okay, so base times height with the understanding that the height is the distance between um, the two bases. So, uh, if you can, if you're given just the base length, um, and you can figure out the height, you can get the area of the parallelogram. Um, otherwise, they would have to tell you what the height is and the base is before you're able to figure out the the area. So, uh, in a word problem, you might see something like find the area of a parallelogram with the height of three and the base of ten. So, area is the um, base times the height. So the base is ten. The height is three. Uh, so the area of that parallelogram in this problem would be 30.